what's up YouTube had a few questions about the best way to cycle a marine tank and uh, some rocks you can use different rocks you can use in a marine tank and uh, instead of you know spending your money on live rock which is you know can be pretty expensive uh, I told the people I'd try to whip out a video real quick and explain it the easiest way uh, make it a lot simpler for them um, so for those of you that don't know, when you start a reef tank or a saltwater tank, uh, I know when you guys see the price of live rock, you know, kind of, kind of pushes you guys away because it is pretty pricey. You know, six to eight dollars per gallon for normal live rock, Fiji live rock. Um, you don't have to buy all live rock when you start a tank. What you can do is buy something they call dry rock, which is dry rock. Most dry rock you see in local fish stores and not and online is actually dead corals dead skeletons of corals uh, which is calcium carbonate actually I have a piece right here uh, dry rock you know it's normally white pure white no colors or nothing because it's just you know dry rock it's a uh, calcium carbonate skeletons of corals that form together and so if you actually see designs on this it used to be a coral this is a piece of Tonga branch I think it's a Tonga branch but uh, anyway dry rocks normally between two three dollars a pound I think online or at your local fish stores so uh, let's say you have a 20 gallon tank what you can do is buy 15 pounds of dry rock which will be the same shapes and all that uh, buy 15 pounds of dry rock and uh, buy the rest the five pounds of live rock and what that'll do is the five pounds of live rock will turn the dry rock into live rock I think it takes about three to six months from the research I've done. Uh, that's how long it takes for the for the dry rock to become live. But you know it will happen, and it's definitely a lot cheaper doing it that way. A lot of people actually do it nowadays because the price of live rock is pretty expensive. So you know if 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 that's the thing that's keeping you guys away from salt water is the price of live rock, definitely check into some dry rock guys. Because uh, it will get, you know, it will turn purple and all that in time. You know, it won't look as, as good as live rock does, but, you know, eventually it will. Just in the beginning, it won't. Um, another rock you can use is lace rock. Lace rock is a really porous rock, really, really popular for saltwater tanks and marine tanks. Um, I think it's around $2 per, per pound on uh, online as well. So uh, definitely a lot cheaper than live rock. If you guys want to check that out, and you do the same thing with that, uh, buy 15. If you have a 20 gallon tank, buy 15 pounds of lace rock, five pounds of dry rock or live rock. You know, and it doesn't have to be exactly that percentage. You know, you can uh, you could probably get away with like two pounds of live rock and 18 pounds of dry rock. You know, it will eventually turn your dry rock into live rock. So. The same thing goes with sand. If you don't have to buy live sand, which is a little bit more pricier than uh, dry sand, you can buy dry sand. Uh, your live rock, first of all, will turn the dry sand into live sand. Or you can find somebody with established aquarium, uh, say a friend or a local fish store, or somebody, ask them for just a little, you know, a couple cups of their their sand out of their tank. Dump that onto your dry sand, and it'll help seed your seed your uh, dry sand and make it live so you know that's a few cheaper ways guys uh, don't shy away from salt water just because of the price because there are cheaper ways around it guys uh, like I said in the beginning the dry rock won't look as nice as you can see it's just white rock but uh, you know patience is key and it will turn into beautiful rock purple coral lines and all that on it different colored coral lines Anyway, uh, another thing was the best way to cycle a marine tank. And uh, this is easy. The best way to cycle a marine tank is with live rock. Don't use fish, guys. You know, that's that's not good putting fish through ammonia spikes and all that. They can really damage them. I know some fish can probably last in a, a cycle, but, you know, it's not good to do that. Uh, when you can just get, get your live rock. When you buy live rock, uh, say if you order live rock online during the shipping it's going to have some die off there's all kinds of life on it so there is going to be some die off 
and all that die off when you put it in the water and start your tank up is uh, gonna cause a pneumonia spike all the decaying matter you know that's what starts a month that's what starts uh, cycles kicks off cycles is decaying matter so uh, all that decaying matter will kick off the cycle uh, and cause an ammonia spike which bacteria feed off the ammonia so the bacteria after that the bacteria convert the ammonia into nitrite and then the nitrite into nitrate so you know that's that's pretty simple and your cycle is over and you do the, the water change when you see the nitrates uh, you definitely want to test every day so you can tell when your cycle is over uh, you want to use a light on your tank because there are things on your live rock that that do use light so uh, you don't want all that stuff dying off that you know to keep dying off so definitely use a light when you cycle uh, your reef tank I'll say it again you know get you some water mix your salt uh, throw a light on there and throw, throw your live rock in there and uh, get your test kits you know your nitrate ammonia nitrite all that and uh, start testing every day until your cycles up it's usually two to three weeks normally so be prepared for that it can be faster but you know normally it's two 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 weeks two three weeks but uh i said all the and stuff will live on your live rock don't worry about that it's not all gonna die but you will have some die off and that's what kicks off the cycle the nitrogen cycle which uh starts which causes the ammonia spike once again uh, bacteria feeds off the ammonia and the bacteria converts the ammonia into nitrites then into nitrates so and nitrites in, into nitrates so I'm trying to explain it the easiest way guys I'm sorry it's really really late right now actually it's like 4 a.m. so I'm fixing to go to bed but I needed to get this video out quite a few people were asking about it so you know get you some dry rock if uh, you can't afford the live rock and get uh, you know, 75% of your rock get dry rock, and other 25% live rock, and the live rock will turn your eventually three to six months down the road will turn the dry rock into live rock. And to cycle a marine tank, use live rock. Live rock will have some die off when you put it in a, a newly a newly set up tank, and that die off will kick off the the cycling process, guys. So running out of time, guys. I wish I could explain more. Uh, I, I'm, I probably missed a few things, so definitely let me know, and I'll get it on the next video. Uh, sorry, I got a rush.